Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to video number seven of my AV editing suite series. Now I've got my Rokit 6 studio monitors in place, I've got my audio interface in place, I've got my Editor's Keys Vocal Booth Pro in place, and also my Rockston DC1 microphone. But to be able to record audio and edit video, I'm gonna need some sort of computer. So in this video, I'm putting the finishing touches to the setup. The computer I'm gonna be using is a late 2011 Intel Core i7 Mac Mini. It specs out at 2.7 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM, and also a 500 gigabyte hard drive in here. Perfectly adequate for running Final Cut Pro 10, GarageBand, and also some new sound editing software, which I'm not gonna actually share with you in this series. It hasn't come out in time. I'm gonna share that with you in a future video. So do stay tuned to the Geek and Noise channel for that. So that's the computer that's gonna go in shortly. And alongside this, I wanna add a little finishing touch to everything because I'm gonna be using the Apple wireless keyboard as my keyboard for the Mac Mini, but I wanna be able to edit nice and quickly. And I've got a little product sitting here. I'm gonna actually open this now. This is a Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard cover, again from Editor's Keys. And I wanna show you this in this video. Now I've already got one of these on my full size keyboard and it really does speed up. Let's just open this up. Speed up your editing. Here we go, almost there. So excited to get this. Here we go, it's out of the packaging. This is what it looks like. Look at that. So what this does is it actually is an overlay for your keyboard, let's pop it into place, and it gives you all of the shortcuts for the application that you're gonna be running. And you can get this for other um, applications as well, but this one's Final Cut Pro 10, which is the main application I use. And look at that once it's in place. Absolutely awesome. Really, really pleased with that and that's gonna live on the keyboard probably permanently, and it gives me all of my shortcuts for Final Cut Pro 10, and I may well get one for the audio application as well, um, but these are great. Really, really love these overlays, and they're so thin that they really don't add any sort of bulk to the keyboard at all. Uh, they just lay on it really nicely. So let's get the Mac Mini in place. In the last video in the series, which is tomorrow, I'm gonna to actually be giving you an audio demonstration of how the microphone sounds and also how the Rokit 6 studio monitors, these white speakers, actually sound in action. So you won't actually see me in front of the camera, but you will hear how all of this sounds. So please do tune in for the final video tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.